something that I have personally struggled with um, in, the, in the journey of life, I think. Uh, particularly the work I've done in social change is moving between these different parts of myself. I had so little balance in my life. I was so focused on building the organisation and what its impact must be outside that I forgot to think about me. Unless I realise uh, who I am and understand it in all its details, how can I offer myself to someone or to the world or to my profession? I see myself as an archaeologist at the moment who is digging to see and interpret what is so I can be as is. You draw strength from everything that's got you to this point. Um, and it's, it's completely liberating. Absolutely one of the most amazing experiences you could ever imagine. I am turning up more as myself consistently in any of the roles that I play. And that's because I am putting the practice of trying to be present in myself because you have to work at it, it just does not come easy. Well, it hasn't come easy to me. Understanding yourself first, being aware of your being first. Including body, mind, soul, senses, everything. To reflect on things that upset me and find the progress in it. To spend more time just staying at home and doing interesting things or just a little bit more free time to kind of be just be. I think you won't have one definitive answer at any point of time. It will remain an evolving answer at any point of time. When somebody is kind, just look at them and say thank you so much. Because I think that's the best way we can spread it. But I think you should probably, we should all say to ourselves every now and again, Fair play for trying.